Hi, I'm Ricky Glor. I'm a creator and one of the head writers of Weekend Pup Date. This is Anna of Where's Anna? Um, last week will probably be our last show of Weekend Pup Date. It has been a great time writing and doing it. I started it because all of my live shows as a stand-up were getting canceled due to the pandemic. Yeah, I yeah. now have opportunities to do some more live shows at drive-ins. <laughs> And some outdoor venues that are socially distanced. Also, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work to write a half-hour script. Uh, even though I've had help, uh, a lot of people have been great. Glenn Tickle, uh, Anthony Kaffer, um, Travis Track, Mike Flincham, Sharia, Mattis, Lucas Arnold. And I'm sure I'm forgetting someone else. Um, Dana Gordon, who provided a lot of the musical artists, anybody that was a musical artist, Lisa Loeb, our special guest, Gary Kroger from Saturday Night Live, Luke Knoll from Saturday Night Live, Patrick Weathers, Jeff Richards. We've been really fortunate to have a lot of great uh, people involved in the show since March. It's just a lot of work to put together every week to film, to edit, to write. And uh, it started, it honestly started taking its toll looking at the news stories every week, fact-checking, and writing uh, stories based on the news right now. It's pretty ludicrous, a lot of the things that are going on, and they're right for parody. But um, I just need to take a break. Uh, if you know anyone that would like to buy Weekend Pup Date or to pay to have it produced, we were doing it on no budget, we would consider that because... You know, people who've been instrumental in the past uh, few episodes, past seven episodes this season. Um, Sharia Mattis is the co-head writer. And Lucas Arnold has been doing John Complaney. And he did a new segment last week called News Minute. We've had a blast developing that. And we would continue if we had some sort of budget. Or if, you know, if people were watching... Weirdly, the last episode got over 10,000 views. It got like, it was went from like 77 views to 10,000 views in one day. Don't know how that happened. Um, but thanks to everyone who watched that. We're at 114 subscribers. So yeah, if you know anyone that would like to produce our show, host it on a streaming device, on a website, um, on an app, we'd be down to discuss that. But otherwise, we may do a few things here and there with some music videos. But thanks to everyone who's been involved since March and everyone who's watched. Um, Norm McDonald felt fell under a bunch of cinder blocks last week. And that's probably where he's going to be uh, until someone digs him out. So now Weekend Pup Date is officially for sale. I'll see you all later. And I say bye. <laughs> Bye.